Roblox isn't for kids anymore. That is the truth. As every year goes on, the Roblox community gets older and older. That's basic human biology. And it has come to a point where the average age of Roblox players is increasing every single year. I'm not saying that isn't kids in Roblox anymore. Far from it. I still believe there are tons of Roblox games that are popular, which are catered to kids. But I think it has come to a point where the community has grown, where Roblox is no longer a place just for kids. When you look at the main page of Roblox, the majority of games are still catered to children. Pet Simulator X, Adopt Me, Brookhaven, these three games have been crushing it over the past few months, and they all share one thing, they're available for all ages. Pretty much anybody can play the game, but if you have been paying attention at Roblox, you know that you don't need to cater to young kids anymore to be successful. Let's take The Hood, The Mimic, and Combat Warriors, another three games that are massive in the Roblox platform that require you to have a 13 plus account to play. Now, this is assuming that people don't lie about their age online, and that happens 99% of the time, so if that happens, then Roblox should just crack down on that, I guess. What I'm saying is that you don't need to cater to the younger generation of Roblox players in order to become successful now. You can make gory, scary, alternative games that would turn off younger players, but still be successful. The Hood and Combat Warriors both average 15 to 30,000 players, and have built a very loyal fan base of older players. But as the years go on, the demand for these alternative Roblox games is only going to increase as the player base gets older. And games like these will have a very bright future ahead of them. So what about Roblox content? What are Roblox players watching nowadays? And of course, the things that they watch now are completely different from what Roblox players used to watch 5 years ago. Back in 2017, the only YouTubers that really were popular were kid YouTubers. Dan TDM, Into Gamer TV, Dennis Daily. Other than Albert's stuff, there was no content for the older generation of Roblox players to enjoy. But nowadays, it's completely different. Roblox started to compete completely shift during the pandemic. And you saw the rise of creators like Koneko Kin, John Roblox, and more recently, Pink Leaf. All these YouTube channels have passed through the million subscriber milestone and they don't actually make content for toddlers. By contrast, content creators geared towards kids are now tanking in their viewing figures. The Ashi, Next V, and even Dennis Daily have declined in viewership. But that's mostly because of Dennis just not uploading for some reason. However, there are new age channels like Fulton, Tankyo, and Creekcraft, which mostly make content for kids and are still thriving. So there is still a market for kids content in Roblox for 2023. But you can still do numbers and not appeal to toddlers in Roblox anymore. And the culture of Roblox has changed to a more adult one. Namely the rise of the slenders and more revealing avatars being used in Roblox nowadays. There was no such thing 6 years ago. There's also going to be swearing in Roblox now and the rise of Rule 63 content definitely reflects this more adult approach to content creation. Although a very crude version of it. So it's the truth. Roblox is getting older and honestly, I don't see that as a bad thing at all. I know that a lot of old heads of Roblox would disagree with my take, but this is just the natural progression for a platform like Roblox. As the demographic gets older and older, more adult themes are going to be supported along with it. The shift is already happening now, with more adult games, avatars, etc. And there is no sign of stopping it. And honestly, I'm perfectly fine with it. The days of Roblox being a kid's game is long gone, and in my opinion, it will never return to that state ever again. And Roblox seems to agree too. They have matured as a company, adopting a more sleek and serious logo, and the UI design for the website has become more professional and less amateurish. The times of old Roblox are long gone, and my advice is to just embrace it. Thank you for watching, and if you reached the end of the video, you might find this video interesting as well. And yeah, I'll see you there.